Hello everybody, Fiber Spider back again with Grounded. We are off on a new adventure today. We are going to investigate the oak tree explosion. Uh, and the oak tree is over that way, so that is where we are hey, going. Finn. Num nums! <coughs> Nummy. Also, it would probably behoove me to pick up stuff as I go. Uh, yeah, the tree, yes. Just gotta, gotta look up. Tropico, tr Tropicop Puncho, okay. Stuck. Oh, 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 here we go. Nice, two drop. I wonder, can I analyze that? Taking a look. No, doesn't work. Okay. Well, I figured I'd try. All right. Uh, tree. Yes, the tree. Let's investigate. Oh. Oh, hang on, hang on. Uh, do I have a shovel? I don't think I have a shovel. Hang on. Let's see. Craft. Uh, do do do. Shovel. Ah, I need acorn shell. I do not have that as of yet. That's fine. The the sprig bow I really want, but I'm gonna have to kill more gnats in order to get it. All right, let's just keep going. Mushrooms. Not the most satisfying food source, but it works. There's so many noises. Ooh, ooh, sap. Nice. Thank you. Any more? Oh, oh. Oh, God! Oh, oh, oh. oh my God. He spits webs and everything. Oh, my God. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, yeah, we were, we're going to avoid him. Uh, I need to get up that way, though. That is a big spider. Yeah, it is. I don't think I'm high enough level to take on such a foe. Got one. Orb weaver, ugh. I mean, in real life, I think that orb weavers are fascinating and really cool. Not when I'm this size, though. Okay, I'm just going to just go this way, if you don't mind. Oh god. Running! Help! I'm stuck! Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Ah, 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 ah. And I have no stamina. Oh! Go! He's still after me. Ah. Ah. Ooh, water. Nice and clean. Thank you. Ah. Okay. Looks like the explosion's over there. Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, before I forget, um, yes, pebble hammer. Peblet hammer. Nice. Okay, wait, now can I make the shovel? Uh, let's see. Craft. Spring bow. Shovel. Yes, I can. Cool. Also, uh, let's see. Inventory. Yeah, let's swap out the shovel. Where's the shovel? Ah, there it is. Okay. For you. There we go. Very cool! Also, I'm probably going to need more of these, so I might as well. Ooh, num-nums. Okay. 
Okay. Cool stuffs. not want not that's what I always say oh look how gorgeous this is this is too freaking gorgeous now truth be told uh, I have seen this being this game being played before uh, two of my favorite youtubers Evan and Caitlin they set up their base on the lily pads, which actually I think is a pretty smart idea because you have a very wide field of view and it's a flat ground and I really like it. However, instead of going onto the lily pads themselves, I might set up my base here actually, right on this rock because it seems to be relatively level. Can I build anything off hand? Let's see. Like a lean-to, maybe? Um, let's see. Because I will need one of those. Uh, do, 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 do. Lean-to. Ah, I need clover leaves and sprigs. Both. Okay, well, I can handle that. Uh, there we go. Clover leaves. Yeah. And sprigs. Come on. You and your stamina. There we go. Okay, and sprigs. We need sprigs. And of course, yes, I will undoubtedly need more plant fiber. See, for me, this game is ideal because of the whole crafting hoarding thing. It is very much up my alley. You know, I don't know if you ever watched me play Skyrim or Fallout 4, both of which I played several times. Woo! Um, I have a fabulous tendency of just picking up stuff until I can't pick up no more. Okay, I can create the lean-to. That's nice. So... I figure... Like, on this rock right here might be good. We could have a home base. And if it gets hairy, I could always you know, move stuff over to the uh, the lily pads. But right now I think that this is a, a pretty good area because it's right nearby the explosion. So, let's do this. Okay, craft a lean-to. Yes. Right there. Very nice. And can I also make a crafting bench? A oh, workbench. Okay, I need grass planks. That's easy enough. That ant go. Hello, lady. Okay. I also love how the 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 light shifts with the with the sun and everything I, and the shadows. Ooh, I love it. All right, 
Workbench, yes. Okay, and shift you just a wee bit. Place, close. Da -da -da -da! Very nice. Oh, and a uh, roasting spit. We'll need that as well. I need sprigs and dry grass. Okay, will do. But first, you know what? Let's let's go in and actually actually investigate. The explosion. Knock knock. It's a, a base of some sort. Explore the lab. It is so 1980s. It hurts. Those look like idealized geometric shapes in that paint thing. They can't be real. Uh, analyze. I have stuff to analyze. That's good. Okay. Let's do so. Okay. Acorns. Yes. Ooh, acorn armor. That's cool. And I'm out of power. Okay, sap catcher. Ooh! Spinning wheel. Very cool. Alright. And I leveled up. Ooh! Red ant armor. Hmm. Okay, let's continue looking around. What is this? I have isolated the source of the particle irregularities. They appear to be a byproduct of the shrinking process. If I adjust the machine to account for their existence, it should be the key to the de-shrinking, uh, expanding process. Virgil, please bring up the readings for the irregular covalent SNPI 42Z particle traces. Ugh, that name is going to get tiresome. And while you're at it, rename all references to the irregular covalent SNPI 42Z particle to raw science. <laughs> Order received. Raw science identified. Does it require cooking, flipping, or g -g -g grilling? No, 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 none of those. Categorization. That answer is not permitted, according to health code standards governing the handling of raw food items. <laughs> Alright, let's continue looking around a little bit. Open. Ooh. Oak lab. Ooh! Lots and lots and lots of sap. That's really cool. How's my inventory doing, by the way? Uh, we can pick up a bunch. There we go. Ooh, sippy sippy. Hostile presence detected at the hedge. Ooh. Okay. Uh, unauthorized... A, a biometric scanner. Okay. Nab? Ooh, a lot of reading. Okay. After successful miniaturization of a single complex electronic device... <clears throat> excuse me. Test 44. Test 45 will attempt to shrink one full box of the devices. Upon embiggening, subjects will be inspected and tested to ensure proper functionality. Results. Failure! Miniaturization successful, but embiggening and further testing is impossible at the moment. Subject was confiscated by a curious honeybee. Recovery unlikely. Box obliterated. Miniature scabs are certainly stuck in every nook and cranny of the yard. Great. Okay. Anything else in this immediate area? No? No? Help Burgle. Oh! Hi, Burgle! Let me try to help! Mm, little flipper hand. Hi. Thanks for the helping hand! Well, you only have one. I am Burgle, 
acting science manager for this project. I am also a robot. I am sure this all must be very disorienting for you, but hopefully I can explain. Okay. Uh, before you do that... Can I... Ooh. Don't mind if I do. Science in my hands. What does it even mean? Okay, that looks dangerous down there. Let's not go that way. Ooh. Brutal transcription unit, 87.9.5. Order number one. Robot, I need you to monitor these power fluctuations and inform me if they exceed acceptable limits. Hello, my name is Rubble, and I will be serving you today. I specialize in cooking, flipping, and g -g grilling. Grilling? A feature useful only to your obsolete burger flipping brethren now consigned to the scrap heap? Not nice. I need you to monitor these readings, Burgle. And isn't it redundant to specialize in cooking and grilling? Understood. Appending monitor power fluctuations to my prime directive list. Deprioritizing grilling. Good. Now get on with it. Reprioritizing grilling. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, chat with Burgle. I suspect you were miniaturized by Dr. Tully's spacer device. Why are you here in the yard? I do not know. In fact, I cannot seem to recall much of anything. A recent power surge has caused a massive raw science containment explosion. This lab, as you can see, is a disaster. Oh, no, it's kind of stylish. And what's worse, the explosion has disrupted my computing power. My memory banks are corrupted. Is it me, or does he sort of... sort of a cross between Alpha for, or Alfie? from uh, Power Rangers and uh, Conky from Pee-wee's Playhouse. Is it me? What do you think? Sorry to pile on the bad news, my new friend. How can I be of service? Okay, where am I exactly? You are here, in the Oak Lab, built and used by Dr. Wendell Tatelli to experiment on all things small. This is the base of operations for conducting experiments in his yard. And who is Dr. Wendell Tully? Dr. Tully is a brilliant scientist and inventor. He is also my creator. My initial protocol was to serve as the short order cook of the future. By the way, I love your mustache. However, I have been recently promoted to acting science manager to assist with his experiments. No doubt my previous work experience has been invaluable to Dr. Tully. Well, if he doesn't want to eat frozen dinners, sure. Although, now that I am processing it, I have not seen him for several weeks. Oh, he took a powder, huh? And now I cannot recall where he went. It must be my corrupted memory banks. Okay, well, how come I can't remember anything, though? It seems you and I are both a little discombobulated. Given my best calculations, your biomass has been subject to covalent spacing reduction via interatomic energy extraction. In other words, you have been shrunk. It is likely this was achieved using Dr. Wendell Tully's spacer platform, patent pending. Shrinking can be a traumatic experience for tiny human brains, and memory loss is a known side effect. Hopefully your memory will return in time. Okay, yeah, but how do I get home? To return to your prior size, you would need to successfully activate Dr. Tully's spacer platform. Okay, the kitchen scale that has lasers on it, right? Okay. Unfortunately, my readings indicate it is inoperable. It appears to have suffered several malfunctions from the explosion. Oh, peachy. I am sorry, but it appears you may be stranded here for some time until we find a solution. Okay, but fixing it would be a solution, right? Haha! <laughs> that is a great idea. Let me run a full diagnostic scan on it and see what we need to do to get it fixed up. Okay. Processing! Processing! Memory fault! Code 408B3000. Ominent OS script runtime error. Arg. I am sorry again. It appears I have sustained more damage to my memory chips than expected. Without those memories, I do not know how to repair the spacer. Um, memory chips? Dr. Tully used two types of chips to back up my memory. 
Auxiliary chips are small capacity chips used to store project data. If you find these, I should be able to help you learn new survival recipes. Cool. Super chips are special, and they are gold. They back up full directories of my memory system. Okay. If we are going to fix the spacer, that data is bound to be on a super chip. Okay. I suggest exploring the other labs in the backyard. Return with any memory chips you find. Other labs? Dr. Tully has built many more labs throughout the yard. He was industrious, wasn't he? Each lab is used for various experimental procedures. I can upload their locations to your scabby. Stand by. Processing. Processing. Error. Files not found. Code 632C404. Cheese and fries. <laughs> locations are missing from my memory banks, too. But we are in luck. I was able to retrieve the location of one of the facilities, the Hedge Lab. Is that what you do with your bets? You hedge them. Ooh. The Hedge Lab is the observation center of the yard and used for research on arachnid webbing. Mmm, spiders. Oh. You will find the hedge near the house if you head southeast. The lab is located deep inside the hedge, sending the coordinates to your scabby. Okay. Try to find the hedge lab first, but there is nothing stopping you from searching the yard for the other labs. Except, of course, thousands of angry, hungry insects. <laughs> okay, that laugh was a little ominous, but sure. That reminds me. Dr. Tully locks the important labs with biometric scanners. You will need access for any chance of success. Okay. Head over to the ASL terminal and place your hand on the biometric scanner near it. Give it a moment to sync your signature into the mainframe. Sure. Once you are registered, you will be granted access to the ASL network of computers, too. Nice. ASL grants access to daily work items. Nay, tasks. Nay, quests. Yes, Nay. quests. I will reward you raw science for each completed quest. Okay. In my science shop, you can trade raw science back for survival recipes from experiments that Wendell conducted when he was first exploring the yard. Okay. Log on to the ASL terminal over there and see what is available. Unless you have any other questions. No, I, I you think really you pretty much talked my ear off. And try not to die out there. Will do. Roger Wilco. Have an exponentially great day. Thank you. Okay. Oh, that was an earful. Biometric scanner. There we are. And I can use this terminal now. Okay, science shop. Okay, I have 1820 in raw science. Okay, smithing station. Brittle whetstone, cooking 101, nachos, might loaf, cookery, okay. What else? Let's see. Uh, Multi-story bases. That would be pretty cool. Torch upgrade. That would be pretty darn helpful. Although, I don't really see myself as using the, the torch all that often offhand. You know what, Let, let's go with the, the first two recommends, shall we? And then I don't have enough for anything else. Close. Virgil quests. Kill grubs. Hmm. Kill gnats. Build a trail marker. Okay. Craft an acorn shovel? Yeah, I did that. Can I get through here? I need a key card. Ah. Okay, did I get more points because I've been accomplishing things? Let's let's take a look, just in case. No, it's still at 720. Okay, just just checking. Okay. Uh do do do. Open. Nice. Okay. Okay, okay. And this is the way out, yes. Oh, oh, oh I'm stuck. Wait, what? Matt. Oh, I 
see. So that is the, the hedge lab. That is quite a distance away, indeed. All right. So, we now have a slightly better understanding of what in the hey hey is going on. But, now we have a place that I can call home for the meantime. Right here. Yeah. Okay, uh, I want to start building some things and whatnots and who'sy, who'sy doodads. Uh, let's see. Quests. Okay. Hedge lab, right? Okay, killing grubs. Trail marker, we could do that. Trail marker. Trail marker. Okay, place blueprint. And place. Build. Raw science! Easy enough. Okay, uh. Let's see, what else? Killing gnats. Finding gnats, that's going to be kind of the trick. However, I do know where we can find some, actually. At least I think so. See, that, that lantern is not lit. There is a lantern around somewhere, isn't there? Hmm. Well, at any rate... What else can I build? Alright, craft. Uh, stem pallets, smithing station... I am supposed to build one of those, but I need... Brittle whetstone and brittle plating. Storage chest. That would be very helpful. Because, as you know, yes, I am a hoarder. There we go. Oh, uh, let's see. Relocate. Turn you around. Or does it not matter? I don't think it matters. Okay. Let's exit out of there. Alright, uh, open... Yeah, I have tons of stuff in here. Also, I have a bunch of unanalyzed doodads. Hmm. You know what? I got an idea. Uh, let's do maybe the spit. Gonna need one of those. Roasting spit, yes. Okay, so I need sprigs and dry grass. You know what? It's late, let's go to bed. Set respawn point, yes, sleep till morning, good. Okay. Okay, hungry and thirsty. However, I do have foods. No, that's not cooked. Is this cooked? That's not cooked. Oh, I need cooked stuffs. Oh dear. I need... I need the, uh, uh... The roasting spit. Alright, let, let's eat. Okay, that kinda helped. There we go. Alright, let's get ourselves a num-num. We'll drink. Hello! Oh, here we go. Very nice. Okay, so I need dry grass and I need sprigs for a spit. Haktui. Sprigs. Very good. And plenty of dry grass here.
thought I saw something shining. Okay, uh, X. Oh, what's, what's that? What's that? Oh, it's just a ladybug. Okay. Ladybugs are neutral. Always good. Dry grass. Oh, something sounds annoyed. Ooh, it's a stink bug. You can see his fart cloud. Yes, I think it would be best to avoid him for now. Okay, so I've got lots of gra uh, dried grass chunks. Let's get some more, though. There we are. Since I'm here, might as well. Also, I do really like the, the physics in the game. The way that the uh, the blades fall and everything. I, I, mm, I love it. Also, uh, you know what? I got an idea. Hopefully it's not too close to that stink bug. Dandelion. Here we go. You're a big, strong lad. You can do it. Okay, so yeah, that's stems, but... Oh, there's the stink bug. Yeah, looking for dandelion floofs. Floofs! Okay, now those, the dandelion floofs, are good for uh, breaking your fall. Okay, so we, we have some some things. We can do some crafting. Very nice. Oh, it's so pretty! So stinking pretty. Alright, we just drop these in this vicinity. And we will start building some stuffs. Okay, do I have what I need to make a, a spit? Yes. Okay. Uh, let's place you right here. Sounds good. Place. Build. Nice. Okay. Oh, and we will start cooking. Cook and cook. That has already been cooked. Okay. Cool. Alright, what else can we make? Cookery. Spinning wheel. Ooh, I really want one of those. I need red ant parts, though. Sap catcher. That will be very helpful. Weed stems. I have weed stems. Okay. Now, this... I believe I can pop into here. It is a branch, after all. Well, it's a root, so sap should come out of it, right? So place you there. Put another one right here. Can I do another one right here? Maybe? Ish? Kind of? Yeah. Cool. Okay. So yeah, I need the, the wheat stems. All right, so build build and build okay also I need ropes right okay let's do that okay wheat stems there we go sap is an invaluable resource nice Okay, I need rope. And more weed stems. Okay, we can do this. I just need to find weeds. Hmm. 
Now, the only thing is, is that weeds and dry grass, they look very similar. See, there, there's a, uh, a dandelion right there. I'm gonna see if I can try to nab that one. Let's see. Ah, here we go. Dandelion. Come on, come on. You're a big, strong boy. Okay. Might up Oops. Ahead. The the oh God! Oh no! 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 You know what they say? A foolish consistency is the hobgoblin little mice. Yeah. Oh. Okay, back it up, back it up, back it up. Regain some of my stamina. Stamina, come on. Stamina. Where are you? Oh, there we go. Ah, ah. Yeah! Sick. Really sick. I spy. Mark that one off the list. Okay. Low health. Okay. Uh. Ah. Well, I survived. For now. Uh, I do want those floofs, though. Okay, here we go. Oh, God. Yes, floofs. I like the floofs. And weed stems. Thank you. Okay, we survived, and now I have other things that I can analyze with uh, the analyzer. Good stuffs. Okay, we are off to an auspicious start. Not suspicious, auspicious. Full of awe and wonder, yes. It would just be really groovy if my stamina didn't run out quite so quickly. Alright, let's build things and stuff. Mostly things. Uh, oh, right, right, right. It was my sap catchers. There we go, and build. Okay, alright. Uh, let's just drop you right there. Rope. Right. Okay. Crude rope. Oh, I need more. I always need more. Always. Also, you know what? Uh, do, do, do. <laughs> Might as well. There's something very gratifying about smashing acorns. Don't ask me what it is. What is that? Ooh, ah, okay, but I need a a power of two on my hammer, which I do not have as of yet, but eventually, eventually. Okay, can I make more crude rope? Yes, craft many. Okay. Now, where... Over here? Yes, over here. Here we go. Da -da -da -da! And, so the sap goes into the acorn cap, and then I have a self-sustaining form of sap collection. Very nice. Now, uh, let us go 
into the lab and analyze some more goodies of which I have a bunch let me in okay analyze ooh web fiber that's from the uh, the orb weaver yes analyze Silk rope. Okay. Spider chunk. Spider hood. Ooh, spider armor. Ooh. Could be fun. And acorn bits, grub hide. Let's do the grub hide. Grab goggles, grab leg. Okay, okay. Alright, so I still have a couple of things that I can analyze. Okay, good stuffs, peoples! Good stuffs. Good show. Also, something I have not. Nope, wrong button. Correct button. Mutation. Something I haven't looked into yet. Yeah, I haven't unlocked any yet, but they help as sort of like passive boosts. We'll get there. We'll get there. Okay! Aphid honeydew. Hmm. Num nums. Alright, so, can I build or construct anything else? Let's see, a grinder, new, sap catcher we did, workbench, spinning wheel. I want to find clay and red ant parts. Well, we shall. Uh, let's see. The spinning wheel is definitely going to be a priority. Now, I'm pretty sure I know where I can find clay. It was pretty much back where we started, near the water. Red ant parts, that's going to be tricky. Hmm. You know what? I wonder. Let's see. Armor. Acorn shell, might fez, and crude rope. I wonder how it compares to what I currently am wearing. Oh, that is what I'm currently wearing. The clover hood. Oh, it's a lot better. Yeah, let's, let's craft that. And I will put it on, too. Equip? Yes. <laughs> okay. I look like something out of uh, Little Nightmares. But, sure, why not? Also, can I make any of the other acorn armor thingies? Okay, so I'm currently wearing the clover poncho. What about the acorn chest plate? Whoa, it's way better! But I need a berry chunk. Haven't seen any berries yet. Okay. Acorn leg plates? You know what? It just so happens that I know where we can find some algae. Yeah, big difference. Okay, yeah, let, let's... A little less squishy now. Let's go find some algae. It's literally right there. Come on, down. Thank you. Come on, down. I'm very buoyant. For a boy. And I'm running out of air. Okay, let, let's surface, shall we? Surface! Thank you. Now, how to get back up? Come on. Come on. Okay. 
Really? I'm, I'm trying here. Okay. I'm, 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 I'm having issues. There we go, finally. Now, can, <laughs> can I get out of this pond? Da, da, da. Okay. Uh, it was the the leggings, right? Acorn leg plates. Yes. Craft. Okay. And inventory. Leg plates. Equip. Nice. I I I've got interesting thighs. I have to show them off. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, also, I can store some things, yeah. like for instance, you, uh, deposit, and various other doodads. Yes, like for instance, you, deposit. We're just going to get rid of a whole bunch of stuffs, honestly. That I don't presently need. Those I will need. Okay, and sort the backpack. Oh, oh, I can get rid of you too. And you. And we're good. Ant! Hi! Ant spotted! Okay, I chose the wrong weapon, but... Okay. So, yeah, if I come across any more ants, they will be smashed in history. Okay, so, unfortunately, we are out of time for this episode, but we are off to a very good start. I'm very pleased. We have a base of operations now. We have a way of upgrading, etc., etc. So, listen, everybody, as always, thank you so much for watching. Hope you're enjoying. And until next time, you have a great day. I will see you soon. Bye for now.